Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got a haul for you from Salt Mountain Melts. So I was kind of worried about this order, you guys. I got my shipping notification on Saturday the 9th and I believe it shipped like, or they came to pick it up or something on Monday the 11th and then um, that night it updated but then it said it was delayed. So I was just like, okay, I'm seeing everybody getting their orders and I'm just like, oh my gosh, where's my order? I was freaking out. Well, today it just showed up. So thankfully I can film my haul now and get to smelling these goodies. So what I did is I just opened the box. I haven't smelled anything and I tried really hard not to like look at anything. Um, I thought she included an invoice, but I didn't see one, which is fine. I kind of like to be surprised. So I have six souffles and five tubs, and so I haven't smelled anything. I wanted to do first sniffs with you guys. So let's hop into this order. I am so, so excited. Okay, first up, she includes a business card, some Swedish fish, which it's late at night, and um, I might get eat these myself tonight instead of giving them to Carter or Jordan. So. <laughs> They love to enjoy the candy in my wax packages. Okay, so first off, let me caveat before we get into these scents. Um, I wanted to get this up because Salt Mountain is having a pre-sale coming up and you don't wanna miss it, you guys. She's got some amazing blends, including two of my blends that I submitted. She, she had like a blend contest, Amanda, who's the owner, and she picked the scents with the most likes and then made a poll and then people voted on the ones that they liked the best. And she picked two of them and both of them are mine and I'm so excited. I was just shocked, you guys. So one of them is Fireside Cookies and one of them is Christmas Tree Cakes. And I'm so pumped to order those as well as the rest that's on her list. So she's opening that up on Sunday the 17th, I believe. And I will post the time and all the details in the description box down below. And I'll try to flash it on the screen here as well. And one of the things I love about Salt Mountain's pre-orders is her lists are so good. But there's like 15-ish cents. It's not, you know, 100. Or like so many where it's just overwhelming. I know for some vendors that do pre-orders, the list is so big. Which I do enjoy that as well because so many like cents are offered. But sometimes I just can't be bothered to like go through, you know, 80 something cents. And like, it takes a lot of time to like really narrow down your list. With hers, you know, 15, could be 20, I don't really know. It's just, it's not a whole ton. And so you can look through the list quickly, you know, write down the sizes that you want. She offers souffles, tubs, and loaves. It's super easy. You know, if you want to try one, you get a smaller size, a medium size of the tub, or if you really love something, get a loaf. It's so easy. Her prices are reasonable. And I mean, I just feel like it's like super easy and not overwhelming in the least. So highly recommend you guys go check out her list, join her Facebook group. I'll post her shop link, her Facebook group, and any other social media I can find in the description box down below. Without any further ado, let's hop in. So I'm going to start with the souffles. The first one I have here is Campfire Cider. I've never had this one before. Oak Barrel Cider, Campfire Malo, and Palo Santo. Her labels are just so cute. Here's what it looks like. It's got just a little bit of glitter. Pops right out. Mm, okay, so I wasn't sure what Oak Barrel Cider was going to smell like. It's, a, it's like an apple cider, but with a, like a woodsy note in there. I definitely smell the oak barrel cider the most. I get a little hint of the marshmallow, fire, or the campfire marshmallow and Palo. But I get the cider the most. So this was just poured on August 27th. So I'll give this another couple of weeks to cure. It'll be perfect for like October, November. That is Campfire Cider. Next, I don't know how to pronounce this. H-Y-G-G-E. I think it's, it's not like Hyg, which is what I would think. I think it's pronounced a different way. But um, I forgot what language it's in. Anyway, it, this is a repeat purchase for me. I have like half of a souffle left from last year. 
This is Cashmere Cedar Sugar Cookie and Marshmallow Fireside. I really like this one, you guys. So I wanted to pick up another really pretty like gold hollow glitter on that like burgundy color. It's almost like a wine color. Yeah. Get the sugar cookie, the marshmallow fireside, and the cashmere cedar I feel like really shines in this one. Let me see if I can pop it out. I like to pop them out because I feel like sometimes you smell something stronger on the top of it and then others smell stronger on the bottom. So to get like a full comprehensive smell of the wax, I like to check out the bottom as well. Yeah, and I do. I feel like I get more of the marshmallow fireside and sugar cookie on the bottom, more of the cashmere cedar on the top. And two, I remember when I melted this, I kind of felt the same way. Like I smelled, I didn't really smell a whole ton of cashmere cedar. But I feel like when you warm it, the cashmere cedar really comes out. Okay, next up is Vampire Blood. I've never had this one either, and this is not a me type scent. But a lot of people requested it, and a lot of people were saying how great it was in the Facebook group. And y'all, I'm so easily influenced. Like, most of the time, if there's a lot of hype around a scent, no matter what vendor it is, it's typically pretty good. So, um, I wanted to try this one. And I think she said this is not like the Vampire Blood that's a Bath and Body Works dupe. But it's like a house blend, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this is Bite Me, which I don't know the scent notes of, Blood Orange and Sour Patch Kids. So, probably like a fruity. How cute. There's little black hollow bats on here. That is just so cute. Okay, this is like a fizzy, cit fruity citrus. It's like a, it almost smells like Pop Rocks candy. It's like effervescent, citrusy, fruity, with a little sour note from the Sour Patch Kids. This is not bad, okay? Let me try to pop it out. Okay, on the bottom, it's more fruity and less of the sour and less effervescent on the bottom. But yeah, it's just a fruity. This is really fun. It's a fun scent, like a bright scent. And I feel like Vampire Blood from Bath and Body Works is like, I think, sweeter, maybe more berries or something in it. But this is not bad, so I'm going to try it out. Next, I got Frosted Chai Cookies. I've never had this blend before either. This is Sugar Cookies, Vanilla Frosting, Masala Chai, and Milk. Ooh, I love the chai note. It's good. It's like a creamy chai. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's see what's in this. Sugar cookies, yes. Vanilla frosting and milk. So it's kind of like a chai milk and cookies. It's so pretty. It's more creamy on the bottom. And I feel like the chai is stronger on the top. But yeah, that's really, really good. I really love chai. Like creamy, like chai with like eggnog or chai with something milky or creamy is really, really good. It's like a chai latte. Next, I got Home Sweet Haunted Home. Zucchini bread, iced cinnamon rolls, and birthday cake. Also, just to note, I've seen people post some hauls on YouTube, and I haven't watched any. I don't like to watch hauls before I haul my own, because I feel like if I see somebody else haul something, it kind of like sways my opinion, and so I just wanted this to be authentic and my own. So, I can't wait to post this because afterwards I'm going to go watch everybody else haul and see what they think. Okay, back to Home Sweet Haunted Home. Really cute green with a black glitter. Oh, wow, that is good. Her zucchini bread is amazing. Mmm, okay. I get more of the cinnamon rolls on the bottom. Mmm. 
feel like the zucchini bread shines on the top and then you get more of the cinnamon rolls on the bottom. I don't get a whole ton of birthday cake, but that's okay. That's really pretty. And the last souffle is Howling Hollows. Smoky wood, clove, cinnamon, coriander, cashmere, and marshmallow fluff. Oh, it's really smoky. Smoky wood for sure. This is a campfire on a cold like winter night. Oh, it's so good. I love that smoky wood note. That's really, really pretty. This is gorgeous. Don't get a whole ton. I feel like the cinnamon and clove and even coriander kind of it's not even like a super spicy. They just give it a little depth. And then the cashmere and marshmallow fluff add a little bit of creaminess. But yeah, that smoky wood is just the star in this blend. And this is so beautiful. It's going to be super good on warm. It'll be a great scent to put on in the evening. Cozy up and watch a movie and snuggle. So good. Okay, I've got wax in my hair. I've got wax on my hands, probably on my face and up my nose. It's just, it's everywhere, y'all. Okay, let's get into these tufts. The first one is Black Cat Society, apple cider donut, blackberry, and sugar cookie. How cute is that label? And look at that fun purple. So I found that I really like apple and blackberry. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, that is good stuff. This is beautiful. Okay, this is another one of those, like, I think this was before I knew that I liked apple and blackberry, but I just wanted to try her blackberry, and this is another one that people really love, and I can see why. This is gorgeous. That apple cider donut note is perfect. I feel like it's not spicy. It's just a really sweet apple. You get the cider and the donut. And mixed with a blackberry, it just is really nice. Mmm, perfect. Perfect fall blend. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Her blackberry is really good. I don't get any body care. I'm going to smell it one more time. It just gives it a little bit of like, I always want to say tart when I'm talking about a blackberry. It's not really tart. It's just like, it's different. I don't know, but this is really pretty. If you got this, let me know what you think of it. Or if you've had it before, if you've warmed it, let me know how it does. This one, I feel like every single person had to order because of everybody just talking it up of how good it was. I've never gotten this one before, but I mean, I feel like if you've heard of Salt Mountain Melts, you've heard of Coven. This is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donut. I mean, those scent notes just speak to me. And look how pretty the gray with the star glitter. Like, I love anything celestial. And look how beautiful that is. Oh, my gosh. Yep. I should have got a loaf. It is everything. Every single thing. This is gorgeous. This is Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside with a bready donut. I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon. Does powdered donut have, no it shouldn't because it should just be like a sugary donut. I don't know. It's a little bit of spice. Maybe it's just the Marshmallow Fireside with the Palo, but this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, worth the hype. Oh my goodness. I want to warm this like today. So good. Next, I got Hungry Ghost, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Sugar Cookie, and Toasted Marshmallow. I love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. How cute with these two little ghosties. Mmm, yes. It's just a very, I can't get this one to pop out. That's okay. 
It's pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie. I don't really get a toasted marshmallow, but I do get pumpkin pecan waffles and sugar cookie. I'm sure if I was able to pop it out, I would be able to smell it stronger. Gorgeous. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so good. Next, I got Haunted Bake Shop, Pumpkin Sugar Donut and Bake Shop, which I'm assuming is just like a bakery blend. It's like a light orange with a green glitter. So pretty. Pumpkin Sugar Donut. So it's like a little bit of spice. It smells just like pumpkin sugar donuts, like a creamier version of pumpkin sugar donuts. Let me see if I can get this one to pop. Yep, right out. Okay. It's really pretty. You get the, ba whatever bake shop is, it's probably just like a vanilla based bakery. It smells like you walked into a bakery sort of deal. Really creamy, really pretty. So good. If you like pumpkin sugar donuts, you'll like this one. And lastly, I got Bonfire Bash. This is gorgeous. Vanilla sandalwood, cashmere, toasted marshmallow, and sweet bourbon. It just sounded so good. This is so pretty. It's like a cream color with like a light gold glitter. That is gorgeous. Reminds me of like New Year's. Okay, and this one, I definitely get the cashmere and vanilla sandalwood. It's very much like a body care vibe, like a creamy body care. The toasted marshmallow, I get that as well. And then the bourbon is just like a warm, sweet note. Beautifully blended. It's just a warm, cozy scent. It's like woodsy with the cashmere. Gives it a creamy body care vibe. Sweet with the bourbon. Still warm. Gorgeous. This is like a cozy blanket in wax form. Mm, beautiful. I am so excited about all these scents. Um, I feel like on cold, let me see. Favorites would be Coven, for sure. I loved Bonfire Bash. And Black Cat Society, the apple with the blackberry. Um, and I think my favorite souffle would have to be home sweet haunted home like why did I not get a tub of this I don't know but if I see anything on the de stash groups I'll definitely pick it up in a bigger size because I feel like a souffle is perfect to like try out a scent but if I'm doing it in my open concept and like in one other room it'll like it'll use the whole souffle in like a day and a half or so so I really want to get a bigger size so let me know if you participated in the Salt Mountain Melts pre-order from, I think July, maybe July. Um, I'll have it in the title of the video, but, um, and let me know what you picked up, what some of your favorites were. Did you get some of the same scents as I did? And what did you think about them? Also, if you're gonna participate in the pre-order on Sunday, let me know down below. Let me know if you're gonna pick up either one of the blends that I submitted and, um, I think I'm most excited about fireside cookies. Like, I just can't wait to see what Amanda does with that one. Um, okay, so stay tuned. I'm gonna try to film my 500 sub giveaway this week at some point, hopefully have it up towards maybe like the end of September. And um, so excited for 500 subscribers. Like you guys don't even know how much that means to me. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching me and all of my ridiculous wax hauls and crazy thoughts. Like, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day, week, or weekend. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.